a story a day. Actually, I take zero credit for this story, but I have to tell it because it was so wonderfully told. Remember I told you the guy who gave me my first job back when I was in America and coming back to Kenya, Mohammed Mo Amin, mm -hmm. famous photojournalist mm -hmm. who filmed the horrific biblical famine in Ethiopia back in 1984. Now, Mo had been in the business for decades. In fact, he was known as Six Camera Mo. Oh, you know why? Because back in the day, he used to walk around with six different cameras, literally. And each camera, he would take photos for a different news agency, a different broadcaster, a different network. He was that good and he was that enterprising. That's what he would do. Carry cameras all over the place and interview people. Right? His son, uh, Salim Amin, good friend of mine, he tells the story really well. So one time, remember uh, Idi Amin, Dada, Dada himself. Mm. So Idi Amin, conqueror over, of Africa uh, 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 and, and Europe, the British Empire, the conqueror of British Empire, <laughs> right? Mm. I've so, just taken this one to be my second wife, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yes, just like that. <laughs> so he takes over from. Obote. Obote. He overthrows Obote, mm -hmm. takes over Uganda. And of course, there's panic all over the place, right? Uh, in the meantime, he shuts down the airport at Entebbe. Shuts it down. Nothing goes in, nothing goes out. Right? It's crazy. Soldiers all over the place. There's madness and mayhem everywhere. In the meantime, the world is wondering what's happening in Kampala. Mo, being Mo, says, you know what? The airports are closed. If I charter a plane from Wilson Airport, they're not going to let us land in Entebbe. Or if they do, they might shoot us down. What do I do? The world is screaming for pictures. They want to know who this Idi Amin Dada is. Right? So Mo gets on the phone that time landline right picks up the phone and calls and teb uh kampala, kampala state house kampala state house the state house is in entebbe no mm. now it's in entebbe because oh. they built it recently by the chinese remember oh. but once you land in entebbe it's an hour into kampala, kampala yeah. state house is there amin is in state house right mo calls state house gets the operator <laughs> Your operator says, yes. Very, you know, stern. Yes. Mo says, look, uh, my name is Mohammed Amin. I'm calling you from Nairobi, Kenya. Can I speak to General Amin? The operator, he almost stands up on his feet. He says, Mohammed Amin. He wants to speak to General Amin. Let, him, let me put him through right away. It's got to be a relative. Ba -ba 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 -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Connects the phone. Presidential office. Yes. General Amin picks up the phone. Mo says, listen, General, my name is Mohammed Amin. I'm a photojournalist in Nairobi, Kenya. <clears throat> I want to come and film what's going on, but I understand that your airport is shut down. You put barricades on the runway. You're not letting anything in or anything out. We really want to tell your story. Please give us the opportunity. General Amin turns to him and says, why not? Why not? We'll open the landing thing. Give us the details, uh, the, the coordinates of the plane, and we'll enable you to land. Moamin grabs his six cameras, zips over to Wilson Airport. Everyone now they've heard that Mo Amin is, is going somewhere because every time Mo got in his car, everybody knew. So they chase him. They chase him to Wilson Airport. The other uh, correspondents, the other agencies, the other networks. Mo charters a plane, gets into the plane with his crew. These guys are trying to get onto the plane. He says, uh-uh, this plane is taken. Shoo, flies. Lands in Entebbe. Airport is cleared. They're cleared to land. They are welcomed by soldiers at the airport. Zip one-hour drive. Kampala, straight to State House. Enters the State House. And do you know, the first pictures ever of General Idi Amin were filmed by Mohammed Amin. Amin. And he only got access because he had the last name Amin. Amin. 
So him and, um, and, and Idi Amin, they struck a relationship. He would film it. A lot of the pictures you see, the black and white, the videos of Amin diving in the pool, of Amin being carried by uh, the white uh, ambassadors, <laughs> the diplomats. Mm. Most of that was shot by Mo. Wow. Incredible story that you cannot make up. If he hadn't made that call, if he hadn't identified himself, if he hadn't thought, you know what? They might not question which Amin this is. Mm. <laughs> so they cleared the airport they and Moog the, landed. Can you imagine? I did his filming and took the pictures out, exclusives around the world in America, Australia, UK, everywhere. These were world exclusives. Mohammed Amin interviews General Amin. Wow. <laughs> That's and a that story <laughs> every correspondent uh, would love to do, Jalas. That's what we call a story a, a day. day. It's the Hot Breakfast with Jeff and Jalango.